I want to talk about Aaron Brockovich's involvement in the Jennifer McDonald scandal. And uh, that's a name that you wouldn't think to associate with the largest embezzlement scheme in Virginia history, but her name and her water guy, Bob, are directly associated with that. Bob has even done interviews admitting to this. So there is no question as to his involvement in the following series of events because he admitted it himself in his own interviews. Um, when Babin Egger approached me, she was less concerned about the embezzlement scheme and the money laundering. She was primarily concerned about the EB-5 visa program. She is a libertarian. She's very concerned about immigration. She doesn't want illegal immigrants here in the country. And so as we're eating dinner, I'm not telling her that I'm a fourth generation American, a descendant of an immigrant and uh, from Bohemia, from the um, Austro-Hungarian Empire uh, prior to becoming a Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia. So I took what she gave to me, which was this huge, mostly xenophobic rant about, you know, not wanting foreigners to invade Front Royal because of this EB-5 visa scam that he was allegedly running. And I subtracted that from the narrative. It's the only thing that I published was once I had researched everything was that uh, that the contract that they claimed existed did not exist. And I proved this. And I, I, I have uh, records which show the, the traffic on my websites and the numbers on my Facebook page that show that 10,000 people in a town with 25,000 people in it read this article in one day. And so when this happens, I'm winning a battle. Um, I've exposed the scandal. The town is lit up with controversy. People are supporting me. People are um, calling me a hero. And this has happened in many towns across the country when I've done these, these campaigns. And... Uh, well, this is the cue for Aaron Brockovich's water guy, Bob, and Jane, and Peter, and Diane to step in and convince the community that I'm running some scam. Why? They want to destroy me. They don't want anybody to know what they've been up to all around the country. They don't want people um, to find out what they've been doing and how they've been harming communities all over the country in the interest of trying to destroy me. And what makes it even more bizarre is that the development, the redevelopment that Jennifer McDonald was doing was the redevelopment of the Abtex Superfund site, the largest toxic waste site in Virginia. And so not only do we have a still polluted Superfund site, which the EPA records reveal that it still has operable units that are not cleaned up, um, we have Aaron Brockovich and Bob Bocock stepping in to attempt to manipulate the local authorities into arresting me and turning against me, uh, stopping me from stopping the redevelopment of a toxic waste site. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, and with Bob's interviews, it's pretty clear that this happened because he admits to it. And so at this point, uh, Jennifer McDonald is sweating bullets. She's 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 been exposed. Um, people are starting to look at her until all of a sudden Diane Diamond starts messaging at you know the media outlets. I'm Diane Diamond and I am a writer for the Daily Beast and I want to tell you about Matthew Burdick. He is a con man, a fraud, and a scammer. And so she suppressed. She assisted with suppressing my narrative in the media. Ernest Halkin. Uh, all of them made efforts to attempt to discredit me. Well, when they did this, when they discredited me, when I was chased out of town, when I was gone, it empowered Jennifer McDonald, who then went on to embezzle $21 million. When I exposed the scandal, she had not yet embezzled $21 million. I stopped her in advance. I tried to stop her prior to everything that happened. And it was all these people helping her get away with this that 
uh, allowed her and empowered her to real, you know, she realized, oh my God, I can get away with anything. This guy exposed me publicly and no one cares. And that's when the sheriff went into business with her. And of course, later he committed suicide when it was exposed, he was involved. And so there's a part of me that realizes that if people would have listened to me uh, all the way back then, that the sheriff wouldn't be dead. And, you know, after he shot himself, I, I really, uh, that affected me negatively in a way to where I, I have never run a cause ever since. Because that's not why I start, I became an activist, wasn't to cause people to commit suicide. I mean, I had written an article demanding that he resign. I promoted it in the community. There were other media outlets that were coming for him. He was being indicted and he shot himself. And whether or not my article had that effect on him, I'll never know. But that's not the effect that I wanted. I just wanted people to be held accountable. Um, when the break-ins happened at my home, when the trespassing happened, the sheriff wouldn't investigate. I was mad at him for many years because he allowed that to happen to me. Of course, when it came out that he was her business partner, it affected... I, I just couldn't believe it. <clears throat> I couldn't fucking believe it that... that, that all that had happened to me and it wasn't investigated and it turned out that the person that was supposed to investigate was her business partner. And, uh, but nonetheless, with Aaron Brockovich and Bob Bocock involved in discrediting me, it empowered everybody to turn against me. And they, at the end of the day, really, really contributed to her going on to steal all that money. And they obviously felt very, very confident that they discredited me because they, made the mistake of doing interviews about their involvement in Virginia, thinking that they had gotten away with their crime. And then all of a sudden the scandals was exposed six months later. And, and they, they've been left painted into a corner because now there's all these interviews they conducted about their involvement in Virginia. And which of course, at the time they had discredited me, but now today their interviews make it abundantly clear that they assisted her um, in Jennifer McDonald's interview with the police, she says, there's this group that screen caps him and I'm, I've been talking to them and Crystal Klein says, yeah, I know about them. Um, that's Diane Diamond, Jane Hitchcock, Peter John Ross, Bob Bocock. That's who Jennifer McDonald was talking about. She actually comes out in her interview and mentions them. And so the Aaron Brockovich connection to the Virginia scandal, I mean, to me, that's explosive. That needs to be out there. People need to know that Aaron and Bob did this. They need to know. She's portrayed as a hero, but that's an example of them, you know, sacrificing the health and safety of an entire community and then triggering uh, and enabling this $21 million embezzlement scheme uh, just to get rid of a, a, a competitor, me, superfundresearch.org or toxicwastesites.org, which is what we're called now. And, uh, and so that's why, in my opinion, people aren't telling the story. They aren't, they aren't, um, willing to do the research. I think, I think they hear it and they go, oh, this guy's crazy. And they, they, they don't want to investigate any further. I don't think people want to know that Aaron really operates in that manner. It's, it's atrocious that she does things like that. And it's not the only time she's that they've done that to me. That's happened. And, you know, they helped poison the babies in Barstow and even have a video mocking the babies in Barstow, a video with babies on fire endorsed by Aaron and Bob. And I'm left in a position where nobody wants to tell the story. Aaron's a hero. No, she's not. She's absolutely not. All it takes is one investigative journalist to dig into this situation and start uh, looking at those interviews and looking at their involvement in that front royal scheme. And it reveals something very, very sinister going on in my life. So the very unfair, a story that needs to be told.